All things are made from one, and in the end, all things return to one. In other words, one is all. Indeed, and all is one as well. All is ultimately of the one. So if all is not included in the one, then all is nothing. You have passed. Now is the vibrate, y'all know what it is. Terraforming. And just making it simple, how you could see how the mythology of terraforming connects with how we terraform. And you know, terra connected to earth. You know, the word terra sometimes referred to as earth. Matter of fact, in the book, uh, was it Robert Morning Sky, the Terra Papers? You know, matter of fact, the Terra Papers are the Earth Papers, you know what I'm saying? But Terra is connected to the Earth energy, somewhere close to the word Tara as well. But Terra, so the Terra form means the Earth form, you know, and specifically, you know, forming the Earth. Usually, when the word Terra form is used, is when the earth is formed in a manner so certain spirits could inhabit the earth you know and it somewhat ties into the video I did about religion and how earth is like legion you know from the bible in essence you know what I'm saying legion not exactly how to explain it but you know legion was like a group of spirits in essence and I would say more so like Legion from Legion from the Bible and the X-Men version of it too. But basically, you know, there's a Legion of Spirits on Earth. You know what I'm saying? And how a religion, you know what I'm saying, all these spirits, certain spirits keep the earth, you know together and alive in essence you know what i'm saying like there's cells in our body that worship the existence of the body you know but that in essence has to happen in order for it to you know be a body you know it's like imagine if you know uh if the cells in the body if all the cells in the body was like oh man i'm just i can't wait to to go to this dimension or I'm you know I'm trying to reach the, the the 20th dimension right now you know what I'm saying imagine if your cells in your body were always like operating like that like what it was always wishing to be somewhere else other than in your body you feel me imagine how your body would operate you know what I'm saying and again just so we on the same page you know again you could also use the comparison or the you know see how that corresponds to us as you know as you know beings and spirits on the human experience how that kind of correlates to being a cell in the body of course y'all that have been with all my videos y'all know but i'm just kind of you know just in case somebody peeping their head in for the first time but so terraforming again farming the earth for, for spirits and religion, our religion, you know what I'm saying, basically exists like, you know, in essence, you know, uh, Christianity and certain religions, you know, have to exist to some extent, you know, in order to keep the whole body alive, you know, because the, the, the being that they worship is more so the being that's responsible for keeping the matrix going you know what i'm saying like in most cases religions worship you know the abraxas yeah dollar brought type of energy you know basically the energy that's responsible for you know quote unquote archons which is responsible in the archons basically in so many ways is like the whole zodiac wheel you know what i'm saying so the zodiac wheel you know, the zodiac archetypes are those arc, ang arc angles, those angles in the zodiac wheel. 
the ring of Solomon, 360 degrees of knowledge, knowing the will of time. You know what I'm saying? Not only like a will like this, but like will, like will power, the will of time. You know? But most religions, you know, worship that that aspect of, you know, of source energy, you know what I'm saying? That individual uh, entity that's more responsible for, again, creating the, the matrix in that sense of it. So, again, a bunch of people have to worship the very thing that entraps, you know, like the like the cells. Again, look at it from the, that perspective. Keep it in that perspective. Some cells have to worship the body in order for your body to, you know what I'm saying, even, you know, to hold itself together, to even be physical and to not just drift off into the astral planes you know some of your cells have to be like all right we here you know what i'm saying we here with the business we ain't going nowhere you know same thing in this plane like some cells or some people you know what i'm saying have to worship the earth or be strongly you know what i'm saying into maintaining the earth you know what i'm saying in order for it to you know be a earth you know what i'm saying if every cell in this body, AKA every person was like, hey, let's all just leave right now and go to the astral plane, you know, the, the planet or the body would disappear or stop being, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna go too far deep. So simply bringing it back to terraforming, you terraform your body for certain spirits, a.k.a. you form your body in order for certain spirits. When you were, <laughs> you know, uh, when you had an abusive spirit or an addictive spirit, you know, and that was the type of spirit you were inviting into your earth or your body, you know, you, you may have drunk a lot of alcohol and, and did a lot of certain toxic drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like you probably was, let's just say, you know, you're doing the cocaine, you're doing the, the uh, you're drinking a lot of alcohol, you're taking uh, pharmaceutical prescription painkillers and all this. Well, you're terraforming your earth or your body for certain spirits to, you know what I'm saying, to be present. And that's also, again, going into the history, you know, for more of the little specific details on, you know, whether it's oxygen and methane and what type of elements that certain beings value, you know, according to mythology and research, you know, I would say, again, one of those uh, people... Dan Winter, you know, as he talk about like, you know, ancient reptilian beings or just how different beings want to terraform Earth. That's, that's also in the Terra Papers, you know what I'm saying, with Robert Morningsky, you know. But basically, different beings terraforming Earth or looking to terraform Earth. So they was looking to create a certain atmosphere. Because again, if you're a computer being, you want to terraform Earth by making everything computerized, you know? If you're more of a nature being, you want to terraform Earth by making sure that you knock all the buildings down, you know what I'm saying? Like if you was on the extreme too, like that's the thing, you know? Hence why, you know, Earth is seen as a valuable space because of the fact that so many different unique diverse type of spirits <laughs> could exist in one space you know what i'm saying you know from all the different fire spirits water spirits you know uh 
spirits that are into technology spirits that are into more of the computerized uh you know technology and i, I don't know is the best not say i don't know the word not not coming to me as far as the best word to describe you know what some may call artificial intelligence but computers you know what i'm saying but again a being that's basically like a robot would like to terraform earth with having a lot of robotic stuff uh uh, a being that's into motor oral would like to terraform the earth with you know things that use motor oil and you know things that like to breathe in nasty exhaust from an exhaust pipe on a vehicle would promote you know like that type of spirit would promote more exhaust coming from everywhere so the to some beings it's pollution but to other beings that's like their habitat you feel me so again bringing it back out of the mythology you know and into the anatomy of your body but they're both interchangeable it's like we terraform our body by what we consume you know and also again remembering consumption is not just what you quote unquote eating through your mouth, but you consume with your eyes, you consume with your skin, your nose, your ears, you know what I'm saying? You consume even with some of the genital parts of your area, you know, or your body, you know what I'm saying? Although technically, you know what I'm saying? Some parts ain't meant to consume on certain bodies but to each his own I'm not the what your body should consume please <laughs> I'm not the what your body should consume police so I'm not policing what you allow your body to consume and where you allow your body to consume <laughs> what parts of your body you're allowed to consume that's up to you but and in a lot of ancient, you know, uh, mythology with the fact that the body consuming, you know, like say for instance, in Qi Gong, Tai Chi, they call the earth, another name for the earth is the realm of the nine gates, nine or eight gates, but basically like the nine gates and it's talking about like, you know, your eyes, like, you know, being a gate, nostrils, being a gate, mouth, ears, you know, your other two, you know uh genital spaces but being like gates you know what i'm saying like you no know, portals into your world so again another way you see how terraforming is important and now again what this video would simply be for like hey well what's the solution like what you're getting at just to be aware of you could say what you're consuming and your health and see how that correlates to you know again the metaphysics or the spirituality aka you know the study of spirits you know seeing how you know how and why that makes sense and when you hear it said like this it just makes more sense it's just basically making it simple you know like hey you know by giving a bunch of examples it like makes sense you know like, all right, if you, again, you're allowing abusive spirits into your realm, you may terraform your realm, a.k.a., you know what I'm saying, uh, change your body to to be inhabitable for spirits who like a lot of alcohol or spirits that like a lot of prescription pills, you know? You may be terraforming your body for spirits that like vegan food you may be terraforming your body for spirits that that like to be outside a lot you know what i'm saying you may be terraforming your body for for a more harmon a harmonized uh vibration where you terraforming your body to be able to to interface with 
robots to interface with nature to interface with you know what i'm saying a little bit of alcohol to interface with you know what i'm saying black seed oil and health foods you know what i'm saying like you might be terraforming uh alkaline acid balance or you might be terraforming it acid extreme or alkaline extreme but you are terraforming your body for certain spirits to inhabit your body. Certain spirits, you know, just not able to inhabit certain spaces, you know, again, unless the environment is, you know, suitable, you know. Spirit, some spirits like very dirty environments, you know, hence the people who may not take care of their hygiene, you know what I'm saying? They housing spirits that, you know, find it valuable to be dirty or, you know, to not be as clean. You know what I'm saying? No necessary judgment on right or wrong. It's just seeing, again, like how it, you know, how the truth is within it. So, terraforming, again, is not just something that's from mythology and how, you know, all these ancient beings terraforming the earth for their, you know what I'm saying, water beings terraform the earth to make sure that there's more water. You know, fire beings terraforming the earth to make sure there's more volcanoes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or, or should I say, you know, also like the volcano energy is like the mixture of earth and fire so maybe like you know earth like if earth and fire beings started coming together you know what i'm saying they would terraform the earth for you know they would terraform the earth by creating volcanoes or volcanic energies in certain areas you know what i'm saying if beings that you know, were more of the air element came together with beings that was more of the earth element they may terraform the earth to try to create an area where there's a lot of dust storms. You know what I'm saying? Like they thrive in dust storms. You know what I'm saying? Just like little simple examples. But again, and this is how this is also helping you to know like, all right, what type of spirits am I aligning with by looking at how I'm terraforming my body, a.k.a. What am I consuming and how is it changing my body? You know what I'm saying? Because you see the analogy in the elements. Think about the air element. You know, that's your, let's say, you know, simply your thoughts and your words, you know. So how is the air element terraforming, you know, your body? You know, like what words and affirmations are you speaking that terraforms your body? What type of thoughts are you thinking that terraform your body? And that's how the air element terraforms your body, you know? And that, that just... Uh, you know, spark the awareness, a reminder of like, you know, again, psychosomatic symptoms, how uh, like the emotion, to be specific, I for, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but basically, you know, it's how our emotion, our mind and our body kind of interact with each other in the sense of how your emotions could trigger a thought or how your thought could trigger emotion or how your emotion could trigger a certain body response or how your body response could trigger a certain emotion or how your body you know so like a pain could be triggered by emotion or a pain could trigger a thought you know or vice versa a thought that you have like about something could trigger a certain pain because it made you remember something you know or a thought could trigger a certain emotion you know what i'm saying but again and, and quite literally, that's, again, the mundane human perspective of it. But this is also how the elements interact. You know what I'm saying? The, 
The emotions is the water, the thoughts is the air, you know what I'm saying? The water could trigger the air to do something, the air could trigger the water to do something, the water could trigger the, the earth, aka your body to do something or feel a kind of way, you know? Again, your emotions, you feel in a certain kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Whether you let emotions flow or build up, that's terraforming your earth. That's creating a certain type of earth, you feel me? Creating, you know, a certain type of body. So simply, just the awareness of how you're terraforming your earth. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? And quite specifically right now, you know what I'm saying? How we're terraforming our earth to be in alignment, you know, with mental, emotional, physical health and harmony. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, all these different dimensions, all these different parts of our being, you know, again, mind, body and soul you know, harmonizing these factors and making sure that we're terraforming our earth or terraforming our body in a manner that creates harmony, you know, that allows for the emotions, the, the mind, the body, the spirit to healthily, you know what I'm saying, coexist and co-create you know, in a healthy manner within your earth, within your body. So that would be ultimately what we get into too, like how can I terraform my earth to, you know, to have more harmony, you know what I'm saying? What, what can I do to terraform my earth so that there's harmony between my mind and heart so that there's harmony between my mind, body, and soul. Again, all these different, you know, ways of expressing it. But the the most important one that's coming up is like, you know, like the intuition in the mind or the heart in the mind. But basically, you know, like how can you harmonize, you know, those parts of self, you know, and again, like what type of terraforming you would have to do, AKA what type of things you would have to start consuming and what type of things you would have to start doing in order, in order to cultivate, you know, your earth or cultivate your land or cultivate your body or, you know, terraform your body to, you know, how certain spirits, you know, and before I go, another connection with that is also with our ancestors, you know what I'm saying, your ancestral lineage, your blood type, and seeing how, again, like your blood type, certain blood types is connected to different types of beings. And no coincidence that different blood types require different types of, you know, uh, food. You know what I'm saying? Some blood types eat more legumes and nuts. Some blood types are better if they're vegetarian. Some blood types may be better if they have a little uh, meat every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Like, go research that on your own. I'm not getting into specifics, but, you know, again, man. Some blood types have a different type of, you know, uh, environment, you know what I'm saying, and, and require a different type of terraforming, so to speak, you know. But again, you see how that directly correlates to, you know, mythology and ancient beings where our blood types connected to, you know, these ancient beings, our DNA connected to certain ancestors and you know, with that connection, with that vibration, with those spirits that we are aligning with, you know, we have to terraform our body to align with those spirits. You know what I'm saying? You may be terraforming your body to connect more so with 
you know, uh, Santeria and Voodoo ancestors. You know what I'm saying? You may be cultivating your your body to connect more so with, you know, uh, Polynesian or, you know what I'm saying, the Samoan ancestors. You may be uh, terraforming your body to connect more so with, like, the the yogis and the Hindu, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Kushan Pai ancestors. You may be terraforming your body to, you know, connect more with... Uh, No, you get the picture, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but definitely, like, also, again, seeing how we're terraforming our body, in essence, or forming our body to house, you know, to be able to facilitate and be, you know, uh, in so many ways, you know what I'm saying? Being hospitable, you know what I'm saying, to the spirits, you know, basically, like, like no different from inviting like literally like when we talk about the ancestors more so now this is more so on the blood relative vibe because again you know we got ancestor or uh, some people when using the word ancestor it could be interchangeable with like you know blood relatives who transition or you know more ancient ancestors that go beyond our human experience you know are more so into the different you know uh galactic galactic star families you know again the orions are you know the pleiades the serious beings you know what i'm saying like you know ancestors being looked at as that as well because in essence you know our ancestral lineage is connected to our dna and since our dna is connected to ancient beings doing sex and genetic experiments then ultimately, you know, we could see those, uh, you know, those beings as ancestors as well. But just again, like, how would your grandmother or grandfather feel if you invited them to your house? You know, like, quite literally, you know, like, inviting your relatives or your ancestors to your house, you know, like, would they find it at home? Like, do you have, like, you know, like you visit your ancestors, your, your relatives come vi visit you, your ancestors come visit you. Like, you know, like, oh, Onk, I got a little bottle of cognac for you, you know what I'm saying? Or Onk, I got some cranberry juice, you know what I'm saying, in the corner, and like, Onk feel like at home, you know what I'm saying? Like, Onk feel good, you feel me? It's like, you know, I feel at home, you know what I'm saying? AKA, you done terraform, you know? terraform your body or your earth or your you know your temporary home or housing in order to make you know what i'm saying onk and ain't and you know what i'm saying i'm using that loosely because again it ain't just about blood relatives but you know those those ancestors those parts of your being you know feel at home they feel welcome you know you know, that's the, the, the word in essence. You know, they feel welcome. They, you know, they, they feel like they're being nurtured by being in your house or in your environment, you know. But we're not going to go in all to the deeper aspects of terraforming. We're just going to leave it at that, you know. And again, just making sure that you're terraforming your earth in order to be in alignment with, you know what I'm saying? Again, your inner being, your intuition. Like, what does, uh, what what should your earth look like and feel like in order to be able to better house, or you could say better house your intuition, but to allow for your intuition to be at its most optimal, you know, performance. What does you, you know, how do you need to terraform your earth or AKA how do you need to take care of your body? You know, in order for your mind to be sharp, you know, in order for you to be more emotionally intelligent, how do you need to terraform your body? In order for you to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> be able to exercise more, how do you need to terraform your body, you know? 
but see how this big concept of terraforming could be seen on a you know what I'm saying a microcosmic aka mundane level of just taking care of your body because again anatomy is mythology by law of correspondence and by just having this perspective and digging into this perspective you can get a lot of insight and knowledge you know without having to go so much to books and stuff like this because you're you know what i'm saying just by you listening to this it's going to open up something in you where you're going to be able to peep out all of these different ways of how you know your body and the cells in your body and all the different parts of yourself how again studying yourself is like studying the universe having more control of yourself is like you know having control over the universe and i use that word control quote unquote you know because that's something we're breaking out of of the whole extreme control like i'm trying to control every single thing you know what i'm saying i always would use the reference about like you know most of the villains you know what i'm saying in like a lot of the uh cartoons and stuff like this they were trying to control you know like i want to control the world but that's fear like again like control into extreme is basically you know fear and without going too deep in it this is also how you know telepathy and reading people thoughts like that's a fear of not trusting people you know seeing how like certain spiritual gifts may come from a certain trauma or you know what I'm saying certain ways that you're trying to control your experience you know what I'm saying somebody who uh, again was traumatized by lack of boundaries may gain a superpower to put up walls you know again the person who you know lacked trust or didn't trust nobody will want to develop the ability to read everybody's mind so they could know what you're thinking so they could know whether they could trust you or not you know what I'm saying but you know although again Xavier seen in X-Men displayed as like oh you know He's just trying to save the world, this and that. There's also the dark side to, you know, telepathy, in which he did his best to have, like, etiquette about it in the cartoon. But, you know, it's like, ultimately, you know, most beings that would have that ability, it's probably because they went through something at some point where they felt like they couldn't trust people, so they developed the ability to read people's minds, you know what I'm saying? But back to, again... The, the your body and what's going on inside of you you know connected to the universe or is like the universe again the law of correspondence is also tied you know strongly into alchemy and how do you shift things you know like how do you you know alchemize certain things in the universe by alchemizing things inside you because you are you know basically like a you know an individual poppet are like a little individual quote unquote voodoo doll to some extent where if you do certain things to your body it affects the world outside of you so again it's like by doing certain things internally you creating certain things externally and hence why again like anybody who's speaking any type of truth about something you know what i'm saying is going to speak to like hey take care of the internal world first then you see the changes you know second externally not going trying to like oh i gotta fix everybody else or i gotta try to save the world first like no you need to take care of you first because ultimately you are a reflection of the universe and when you have you know mastery or control again over your internal world then it creates a uh, experience where you have mastery and control of your external world and again control not in the sense of like dictatorship couldn't extreme control you know and again seeing how different things change through the ages because that maybe you know at certain certain points maybe that level of control was needed you know what i'm saying aka you know because that's what the yogis represent to some extent the extreme yogis that's like extremely like i'm not gonna eat at all i'm not gonna like but having extreme control over their body you know what I'm saying? In essence, there's also like extreme control over the universe to some extent. You know what I'm saying? And like 
that goes into a whole nother thing again of like morals and what is like you know like right or wrong or you know what i'm saying heroes and villains what's bad what's good you know what i'm saying but just simply put you know again with terraforming you know your internal world creates your external world and being aware of like what you're terraforming your body you know to house like what type of spirits are you terraforming your body to house you know simply put you know and again with that awareness though since we are looking to you know a lot of us on our spiritual growth and journey you know is looking to house quote unquote higher self I say inner self you know like looking to house that inner self looking to house you know you know ancestors you know what I'm saying all those different dimensions of 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 your being that was once fragmented you're looking to house those parts so basically you need to make sure that you're terraforming you know your earth or your body to be able to house these parts of yourself and knowing what you know again like what is you know what i'm saying healthy <laughs> a healthy reflection of self and what may be a more toxic reflection of self you know what i'm saying so keep it at that though making sure you're aware of how you're terraforming your earth peace how's the vibrate